like any star, it will run out of fuel in its core and it starts changing. It starts bloating, it will engulf the orbit of Mercury and Venus and come very close to Earth. Fatal juice is dying, this news has been a hard pill for scientists to swallow, but there is nothing they can do about it because the massive star is about to go supernova anytime soon. Astronomers say that it could be tomorrow, next month, or a few months from now. They don't know the exact date, but one thing is certain, the famous Betelgeuse has reached its end and its death is about to change our lives. What's so special about the BJU supernova that has got everyone frightened? What would happen if this star exploded today as scientists have predicted? Join us on this intriguing journey as we explore the answers to these questions in today's video. NASA chief announces Betelgeuse supernova is exploding in 2024, it is over, nothing can be done to stop the impending doom. NASA chief cries out warning the world about the oncoming Betel supernova that could change the trajectory of the planet and life as we know it. Bowel's end is imminent, like a terminally ill patient, Bowel juice is drawing closer to its grave, it's only a matter of time before the famous star explodes and ceases to exist. For decades now, astronomers have been fascinated by BJWS, spending time studying the star's features and oncoming explosions. What astronomers have greatly feared is about to happen, there is no stopping the inevitable. Bowel juice is headed for extinction, and its end is coming sooner than we anticipated. BJWS is one of the most remarkable stars we have in the Milky Way and has captivated astronomers and stargazers for centuries. For a long time, astrophysicists have been mesmerized by this reddish semivariable star whose apparent magnitude varies between 0.5 and 1.6. When compared with other stars, Baljus emerges as the first magnitude star with the widest range. The classical astronomer T described Baljus as more or less orange. Tommy who was an Alexandrian mathematician, astrologer, astronomer, and geographer, had spent years studying Baal Jews. His research and observations gave astronomy one of the early descriptions of the red giant star. It would amuse you to know that even the aboriginal groups in South Australia shared oral tales of the very variable brightness of Baal Jews for at least 1,000 years. However, advancements in astronomy have given astronomers a more accurate picture of Baal Jews and its characteristics. The red supergiant star is found in the constellation of Orion and is one of the biggest stars out there. Red supergiant stars are some of the largest and most massive stars in the universe. Their diameter, which ranges from 100 million to 1 billion kilometers, makes them one of the wonders of the Milky Way. If we are to place BJWS beside the Sun, the star is 100 to 1,000 times wider than our Sun. From research, scientists tell us that a red giant star is a dying star in the final stages of evolution. Despite the shared features between a red supergiant star and a red giant star, there's a major difference between them. Unlike the red giant that can be formed when a star with the mass of our sun runs out of fuel, a red supergiant arises when a star with more than 10 solar masses begins this phase. A red supergiant star is when it runs out of fuel to burn in its core, and as the star exhausts its fuel, it can no longer create the heat and pressure needed to support its weight, causing it to collapse. Betelgeuse's amazing personality extends to its brightness as it is the tenth brightest star in the night sky and the second brightest in its constellation, falling right behind Riel. However, if we were to travel at near-infrared wavelengths, no other star would take Betelgeuse's crown as the brightest star in the night sky. The sun's brightness dims significantly when placed beside the gigantic frame of Betelgeuse. The red supergiant star's radius is 640 times that of the sun. If by some magical wand, we could place Betelgeuse at the center of our solar system, its surface would lie beyond the asteroid belt and it would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. From the calculations made by scientists over the years, Betelgeuse mass is estimated to range between 10 and 20 times that of the Sun. The most shocking news that has been uncovered about this star is that it is about 600 light-years away from the Sun, so technically, it's in the neighborhood. Astronomers have been unable to shake off the surprise they felt when they found out that BJWS is less than 10 million years old. By cosmic standards, it is a young star, a little child when compared to our ancient Sun which is about 5 billion years old. However, whatever Baal juice loses to age, it makes up for in size. 
Baal's size overshadows most of the stars in the universe. Although scientists have done their best to get the precise diameter of Baal juice, it has been a Herculean task because it is a pulsating star. This means that its diameter changes with time. Another reason this vital information has eluded scientists is that Baal juice has no definable edge as limb darkening causes the optical emissions to vary in color and decrease the farther one extends out from the center. Furthermore, BJ is surrounded by a circumstellar envelope composed of matter ejected from the star, thereby making it difficult to define the photosphere of the star. Moreover, the star's apparent size is dependent on the wavelength used. As if that is not enough, atmospheric twinkling also plays its part in limiting the resolution obtainable from ground-based telescopes since turbulence degrades angular resolution. You can see that there is a host of forces making it hard to accurately determine Baal Juice's diameter. However, this has not stopped scientists from coming up with estimates of what they believe this gigantic star's diameter would look like. Besides the star's diameter, another puzzle that Betelgeuse has posed to scientists is the complex dynamics of its extended atmosphere. Scientists are well aware of the fact that the mass that makes up galaxies is recycled as stars are formed and destroyed, however, they have yet to answer the question of how mass is lost. As exciting as this mystery might sound, it is nothing compared to the latest development that scientists uncovered from studying BJ. It is no secret that Baal juice has a large mass, but what many don't know is that this is why it has evolved rapidly over the years. In mathematical terms, we can draw a straight line graph from Baal juice's increasing mass to its evolution. For millions of years now, on this note, you won't be thrown off guard by the bombshell we are about to drop next, Betelgeuse is dying soon. The red giant star is expected to terminate its evolution when it experiences a supernova explosion anytime from now. As soon as astronomers discovered that Betelgeuse was bound to supernova, the scientific community was on high alert. A supernova is a powerful and luminous explosion of a star. Scientists have explained that a supernova occurs during the last evolutionary stages of a massive star or when a white dwarf is triggered into runaway nuclear fusion. What then? happens is that the original object, which is known as a progenitor, would either collapse into a neutron star or black hole or be utterly destroyed to form a diffused nebula. If Betelgeuse explodes today, the peak optical luminosity of the supernova can be compared to that of an entire galaxy before fading after several weeks or months. The sheer sight of this event would either scare or excite its viewers. Another intriguing fact about this red giant star is that it is visible to the naked eye at night. However, researchers still can't wrap their heads around the fact that the red supergiant is almost unobservable from the ground between May and August because it is close to the sun. This is one of the mysteries surrounding Betelgeuse. Another exciting one for the books is that Betelgeuse is one of the three stars that make up the winter triangle asterism and it marks the center of the winter hexagon. From the beginning of January every year, the star can be seen rising in the east just after sunset. By mid-March, it is visible to virtually every inhabited region in the world except Antarctica at latitude south of 8 degrees. So on a typical day, once daylight says goodbye to the Earth and the night's darkness sets in, it is possible to spot Betelgeuse among the array of stars that adorn the sky. So if Betelgeuse were to explode today, everyone would see its aftermath. It would be as visible as if we were watching a 3D live-action movie. Everyone would be aware that something has gone off in the Milky Way. The supernova would appear here as a very bright point of light in the sky, potentially casting shadows at night. Baal supernova would shine as bright as the half moon for more than three months, changing the face of what happens on Earth. If you doubt this, remember that Betelgeuse is just 642 light years away from the Earth, figuratively speaking, the stars are a backdoor neighbor. There is no running away from the inevitable we are bound to feel the impact of this mighty explosion. Before we delve deeper into the impact of Baal Juice's explosion, it's important to point out that the star's brightness is not constant. This might come off as a shock to many people, but it shouldn't be if we can recall that BJ is a pulsating semi-regular variable star. This information helps us understand why Betelgeuse is subjected to multiple cycles of increasing and decreasing brightness due to changes in its temperature and size. The first time astronomers uncovered this peculiarity about BJ was in 2019. The credit goes to Villanova University astronomers Richard Wasatanik and Edward Guinan and amateur astronomer Thomas Calderwood. 
They were the first to notice that Bal's brightness was dimming. It felt like they were in a dream then because nothing like this had been seen before. But after conducting multiple tests, the scientists concluded that it was indeed a reality. The scientists further theorized that a coincidence of a normal 5.9-year light cycle minimum and deeper than normal 425-day period was responsible for the rare occurrence. By late 2019, hypotheses of other possible causes emerged, and it was said that the event could have been caused by an eruption of gas or dust or fluctuations in the star's surface brightness. The succeeding months would see astronomers spend time investigating this unforeseen event, and thanks to ultraviolet observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, a new hypothesis was postulated. By August 2020, scientists believed that the dimming could have been due to an immense amount of superhot material ejected into space. This material ended up cooling and forming a dust cloud that blocked the starlight coming from about a quarter of the star's surface. What's intriguing is how the Hubble had captured signs of dense heated material moving through the star's atmosphere in September, October, and November before several telescopes observed the more marked dimming in December. In the first few months of 2020, when January 2020 came, astronomers found out that BJWS had dimmed by a factor of approximately 2.5 from magnitude 0.5 to 1.5. The situation grew worse in February as scientists reported that the star was currently the least luminous and coolest in the 25 years of studying it. As soon as news of this occurrence filtered into the public's ears, it sparked speculation that BJ might explode as a supernova. This narrative further spread when NASA's body language tilted in the same direction. However, normalcy began to return when by February 17, 2020, Betelgeuse brightness had stayed constant for about 10 days. Furthermore, scientists were forced to put on a smile because the star had begun showing signs of re-brightening. By February 22, 2020, Baoju was believed to have stopped dimming totally, putting a curtain over the dimming episode. Further studies done on February 24, 2020, brought a new perspective to our understanding of the possible cause of this event. Scientists announced that including large-grained circumstellar dust may have caused the dimming of Baoju's. We thought this dimming episode was a thing of the past until the M chief came bearing the bad news, Bledge was dimming again in a revelation corroborated by the American Association of Variable Star Observers. NASA chief reports that Betelgeuse has dimmed by about 0.5 magnitude since late January, this discovery made it to the news on March 14, 2024, and has put everyone on their toes as we anticipate what happens next. If we pause discussing the fluctuation of Baljus brightness for a moment, we can't help but spot the real elephant in the room, Baljus's oncoming explosion. The thought of what the Betelgeuse explosion might do to our planet has sent many into a state of panic as imaginations have run wild on the endless possibilities that could arise from this event. However, astronomers were quick to allay everyone's fears and have spent time assuring us that life on Earth will be unharmed. They have even gone further to declassify files that show that Betelgeuse explosion will happen within 100,000 years, so it could be millennia from now before it happens. As reassuring as these statements might sound to the ear, some astronomers keep painting to us the gory image of what a supernova can do to our planet. For those who will be alive when Betelgeuse explodes, they would see that the star shines far more brilliantly than any other star or planet. The energy released during Baljus's explosion can have a serious impact on the surrounding space, and what's frightening is that we are yet to ascertain the extent of its impact on our planet. If we are being honest with ourselves, there is a need to be scared of an explosion that would release a massive amount of energy estimated to be as much as the energy released by the sun in its entire lifetime. Boom! That's a whole lot of radiation coming from just one event. All that radiation, including gamma rays, X-rays, and cosmic rays, would no doubt have some immeasurable effects on Earth's environment, and as some scientists fear, it could be harmful to life on Earth. Scientists have confessed that this radiation can damage DNA and other cellular structures and possibly cause cell death, mutations, and cancer. So it's in our best interest that this radiation never gets to our planet because the sheer thought of the potential health problems that may arise is quite frightening. Nevertheless, studies have shown that it is not all doom as some projections would have us believe. Astronomers have assured us that the Earth's atmosphere is capable of shielding us from most of the harmful radiation that may be produced when Balju goes supernova. 
Therefore, contrary to our fears, it would only have a minor impact on life. We see evidence of this possibility when we consider the fact that the brightness of Betelgeuse supernova would cast shadows at night. This event isn't good news for nocturnal animals that rely on darkness to hunt, navigate, and communicate. Owls present us with a near-perfect example of this possibility. The nocturnal animals depend on acute night vision to hunt and navigate in the darkness, however, Betelgeuse's explosion is about to switch the cards on these innocent animals. The increased brightness produced by the supernova could interfere with their ability to see in the dark. This is a serious problem because it could become harder for the owls to hunt and avoid predators. Furthermore, some insects like fireflies, which use bioluminescence to communicate with each other, may have their activities put on hold. This is because the increased brightness from the supernova could interfere with their ability to communicate with their friends in the firefly world, furthermore, this could alter their behavior and mating patterns. Animals are not the only ones at risk of being affected by the supernova. The increased brightness could affect the ecology of the area. Let's take, for instance, the fact that increased light pollution could interfere with the migration patterns of birds and can have an impact on the behavior of insects. When this happens, it is only a matter of time before the balance of the ecosystem is disrupted. A look at some of the models carried out to evaluate the extent of the supernova's impact shows that it could cause changes in the ozone layer and alter the climate for a period. If we take our eyes away from the environment for a second, we will realize that Betelgeuse also has an impact on astronomy. The event is bound to provide astronomers with the novel opportunity to explore further the properties of a supernova. More so, scientists would get to learn more about the life cycle of massive stars and uncover facts about this area that we never knew existed. Hopefully, this new star is able to match up to Beach glory. For now, let's keep our fingers crossed for whatever beautiful story the universe plans to write with Betelgeuse's supernova.